Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today I'm going to be doing Dr. Tear with the Random Troop Rolling Dice Challenge. So I rolled the dice a little bit ago, and these are the results I got. So I got Zuka Heavy Warrior, Never Butter Zuka. I got a Scorcher Grenadier Heavy and another boat of Scorcher. So overall, a pretty good strategy. I'm going to see, I'm going to try to beat Dr. Tear. If you guys don't know what the Rolling Dice Challenge is, I basically roll a dice generator online from one to eight depending on what number it gets it goes to the corresponding troop and i basically train up that troop and also guys i can't retrain my troops once they die so i have to try to protect them as well as i can i don't know how far i'm gonna be able to get today guys hopefully i'll be able to get pretty far if if i fail uh, uh, that will be pretty bad guys okay so i'm just gonna be uh placing a critter box it's going kind of slow here It'll take it out eventually. So yes, I'm very, I'm looking forward to this. A couple weeks ago, I did, or maybe it was like last week, I did the um, I did the gumboat one of these. And what the gumboat one of these is, I had to roll the dice, and I could only use certain gumboat abilities while I'm attacking. That was a pretty hard one because you know you only get limited gumboat abilities. So yes, stack to tear stage one goes down. Wasn't able to fully beat it with artillery, but maybe in the next one I'll be able to do it a little better. Okay, so, um, I don't know how far, I'm, I'm guessing I'll beat, I mean, I'm guessing I won't beat Terra Stage 6, because that Terra Stage 6 it starts getting harder, so, I'm just deploying my troops, just taking out all these extra buildings, and I'll just place barrages, and yes, I was able to take out Terra Stage 2 with just Artillery, look at that, those guys are just, like, waiting, like, oh no, we can't go, too bad, oh no, <laughs> just kind of funny, okay, um, yes, we got a victory, which is awesome. Terror stage two goes down. Okay, um, I'm a little, a little worried here because this is when it starts getting harder, guys. This is when it starts getting super hard. So I'm deploying them on the corner again. Rocket launchers and mortars are gonna be a big issue against me. Um, okay, that should be taking those out, and we'll take out the mines. And oh no, I didn't see the rocket launcher at the uh, far. I'm, I thought I destroyed it, but I didn't. So let's place uh. Let's place a med kit, because when they're running, the rack launcher might be able to take out a few of my Zookas, but I doubt it, because my Zookas are maxed, and I doubt they'll be able to beat it. So, the Grenadier Bow is going to be pretty much useless here. They sit at the very back, so they can't, as a tank, they can't act as a tanking layer, which won't even matter, since I don't even have a lot of health. My Warriors are going to die first thing. Haven't lost any yet, which is pretty surprising, but I probably this next stage, I'll start losing some warriors like a lot of warriors my heavies are a very crucial part of my strategy because the heavies are going to be my main taking force for my grenadiers and zookas so i'm taking out all these boom cannons i don't want to risk anything um we'll play some critters to take out the mines guys i love maxed out critters if you guys don't have maxed out critters you guys need to get maxed out critters maxed out critters are like the best thing in the world like 12 critters 13 critters come out of each box and it's sick, guys. It's just awesome. Okay, so we're taking out the boom cannon. Um, the shock launcher is going to be kind of an issue because, well, it is it is a shock launcher. It's going to stop my troop, troops in its tracks. So um, I placed a med kit here. I, didn't, I thought the shock launcher would be firing. Um, what else? My warriors are starting to die. I lost five warriors so far. Um, Scorchers are acting as a pretty good tanking force, but they're not as fast as the... Uh, as the, the warriors and i don't know if the scorchers burn your own troops guys that's something that somebody brought up in a recent video was the scorcher and warrior video and someone said that hey the scorcher was burning my warriors and i, I was just like oh, that's weird you know it's definitely possible but i don't think it is i thought it i think it was just the flame that was making it look like the scorcher fire okay so on tear stage five we only lost uh six warriors so it's going, going pretty well here, guys. Okay, so I retreated just because I didn't have a lot of energy left. Okay, we're going to be attacking him again. Trying a different strategy. I'm just not going to take out any buildings. I'm just going to go from the bottom up. And I'm just going to be using shocks and stuff. First, we're just going to take out some mines. Because I don't want to uh, kill my my Zookas. If my Zookas go off course, that's going to be bad. So, first things, I'm shocking my... I'm shocking the boom cannons. That's going to keep the boom cannons from firing and hitting my scorchers, which I need to preserve. As much scorchers as I have, I need to keep. Well, I need to keep as much scorchers as possible. Okay, so this is the last stage I said I would beat. I said I'd get up to test stage 6, so hopefully we'll be able to beat this stage to get up to my goal. 
So overall, guys, his strategy is not a very good strategy. Very useless, like a bunch of useless stuffs. So I'm placing a critters to take out to distract the boom cannons from hitting my troops, and that should be that should do a pretty good job of distracting the boom cannons. Okay, here we go. So the arson cannons are on the HQ, which are gonna be a big issue. Um, my heavies are starting to drop. I did lose a few heavies, and I just did a reflect to the HQ. Um, hopefully, there was, all these troops will be able to start taking out the HQ. So, um, that mortar on the bottom is going to fire up my Zookas, but he's not going to kill them, which is good. So, test stage 5 goes out, guys. And, boy, am I getting a ton of like on my device, but I know it's fine because this Elgato card is lag free. Oh, man, I just can't even express what I'm feeling like. I am so glad. It was such an investment, such a good idea to get it. And I hope you guys are enjoying the HD footage also. So, Terror Stage 6, it actually looks pretty easy. I got my rec my goal, and I'm just going to go and kind of flank behind the back here. First, going to be taking out the boom cannons here. Uh, let's place a barrage on this boom cannon. And we're probably going to need an artillery to finish it off. Yeah, we're going to need artillery to finish that off. And it's going pretty well. I'm just going to smoke them to the back corner just to stay away from all these extra stuff. Um, What else do I have to say? I don't even know, guys. My uh, troops are going well, mate. My troops are going well. So I'm keeping my troops under smoke because if they go out of smoke, I don't want their flame to latch on to my Zookas because that's going to be pretty deadly. Okay, so that I, I did refly it back here and I did place a... Uh, I placed the critters just to keep those two little Zookas safe and not dead. If that makes any sense, which it probably didn't. Okay, so my Zookas are pretty damaged, so I need to try to heal them up. So I'm going to place a med kit. Okay, and then they're just going to... I'm just going to do a back here, which is going to keep them on the corner as they come down, which is a def definitely a good idea. Okay, so too far, I, I am losing a bunch of heavies, guys. Uh, hopefully nothing big is gonna happen that one heavy in the bottom is gonna die a lot of heavies are going down guys sadly um, My Zuka force is kind of splitting up which is not good and boom they hit a mine But those mines are pretty low level there in the back Usually the ones in the back are lower level than the ones at front if you guys don't know dr Terror can do that he can change the level of mines in the same base like, he could have level 20 mines, and he could have level 1 mines if he wanted, but he doesn't usually do that. He usually has, like, level 20, even level 10, or something like that. Okay, so Terror Stage 6 goes down. This is past my goal, guys. Past my goal. And I don't think I'll be able to beat Terror Stage 7. So I did get, uh, I got lightsaber sticks. A lightsaber stick. So that's pretty awesome, guys. Pretty awesome. I only lost one Zuka in one heavy. It looked like I lost more, but you know what, guys? I didn't. So I'm happy about that. Okay. So, this is Terror Stage 7. It looks... Man, it looks difficult with this strategy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking out all these mines of a critter. And I'm gonna be doing a smoking behind the HQ more strategy. That should work out pretty well, hopefully. The only problem is I need to be able to have enough energy to shock the shock. Because if I can't shock the shock, then the shock will shock my troops. Okay, I love saying that, guys. I said that before in a different video. Like, it's just so fun saying that. Okay, so placing a flare. And hopefully... Oh, the shock did fire on my troops. So hopefully my other troops... Oh, no. This is not going good. Oh, my Scorcher. No, Scorcher. Stay alive. Please stay alive. I need I need all my troops to be alive here. Um, my Zookas are dropping. Don't think I'm going to be able to get this. Uh, I do have enough for one shock. But, oh man, that other shock is going to fire. And half my guys are out of my smoke. By the time that happens, half my uh, shock is gone. Oh, dang. Okay, so this is it, guys. <sighs> man, I was hoping to beat it. But you know what, guys? It's fine. I placed the med kit down to save my save my other troops. Hopefully, the scorchers. My scorchers are super low level, guys. I was hoping for tanks as soon as I got the one scorcher, so I was like, okay, let's get some tanks here because tanks are good. But nope. Okay, so there's one scorcher left. He's dying. He's dying. He's dying. Is it gonna be a little bit? These scorchers have a ton of health. Okay, and he's not gonna be able to take out the HQ. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Um, remember there's a Doctor Terror playlist and a Troop Challenge playlist season 2 down in the description down below, so go check that out. 
Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.